Can you identify these animals? You must be wondering about the relationship between this Pokemon style quiz and World Environment Day. Watch this video till the end to get all the answers. Imagine the world, peaceful and beautiful, where all the beings live in harmony. Oops, wrong example. Imagine lush green sceneries with birds chirping and views of magnificent animals. This dream is getting further and further away from us. The whole world is suffering major effects of climate change, deforestation and other sins of human beings. Let's talk about a few examples. Have you heard of Sundarban, world's largest coastal mangrove forest? Spread across 10,000 square kilometers, this is the home of 250 bird species, 58 mammal species and 55 reptile species. Sundarban tiger reserves are estimated to have 400 Royal Bengal tigers, India's national animal. Every part of this forest is accessible by boats and ferries, so forget about Venice. You can go on a romantic boat ride in an area 10 times bigger than it. But this World Heritage Site is in great danger. According to the paper, Climate Change Impact on Sundarban, between the year 1980 and 2007, temperature of waters in Sundarban has increased at 0.5 degrees Celsius per decade, compared to the global sea surface temperature warming rate of 0.06 Celsius. Sea levels have risen at a rate almost double of global average. There has been an increase in intensity of cyclones hitting the region between 1951 and 2010, attributed to an increase in the sea surface temperature. On the top of all this, the destruction due to Amphan last month has still not been completely accounted for. Another ecosystem is the one which contains nine of the highest mountain peaks in the world. It is the habitat of Tibetan sheep, snow leopard, mountain goat, musk deer and many more animals. Yes, you guessed it right. It's the Himalayas, the youngest mountain range covering about 0.4% of the Earth's area. This mountain range is also facing the destructive effects of climate change. Since the start of 20th century, the temperatures has risen by 2 degrees Celsius, and cold temperatures have warmed up faster than the rest of the world. Due to global warming, permafrost is melting. Permafrost is the ground that remains completely frozen for at least two straight years. Weather patterns are becoming more erratic, disrupting previously reliable water sources. Yet another very delicate ecosystem is a region spread across Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Gujarat, the Thar Desert ecosystem. This desert is spread across 4,46,000 square kilometers and boasts about 23 species of lizard, 25 species of snakes and other rare animals like Great Indian Bustard, the Black Buck and the Indian Gazelle. The already harsh climatic conditions of this area are getting worse than ever before. Due to global warming, this region is not only getting warmer but drier too. The average rain now is less than it was 50 years ago. Apart from these, it is also facing the problem of overgrazing and population growth, which is increasing the soil erosion. I know, some of you must be thinking that heck, the global temperatures are already rising, polar ice caps are melting. It's like we have turned off that giant refrigerator. We can't turn that back on. But what we can do is eat all the penguins before they go stale. Ruko jara. Stop for a minute. According to an article by HowStuffWork.com, we can turn that refrigerator back on. We can work on reducing our carbon footprint. We can start using bicycles instead of cars. Plant trees for shade instead of using ACs. This will slow down the greenhouse effect. And by using some other techniques, we can decrease the concentration of greenhouse gases, turning that fridge back on. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's talk about some current initiatives. The government of France has announced a 22 million US dollar package for repairing bicycles, installing temporary bike parking spaces and financing cycling coaching sessions. Speaking of bicycles, IIT Kanpur has a bicycling society which conducts weekly rides to promote awareness. Apart from that, I am proud to announce that India has set a record by restoring 9.8 million hectares of degraded land in 7 years. It has published a report named Bone Challenge and India. 
progress on restoration efforts across states and landscapes which is the first ever publication from any country in the world and the latest is not a planned initiative but a pleasant side effect due to the covid lockdown rivers are cleaning themselves this is ganga river at rishikesh air pollution levels are also decreasing delhi is enjoying a 30% reduction in pm 2.5 matter while the same figure for mumbai is over 50% according to the data by iitm so the moral of this story is if we don't contribute our share to this cause our next generations will curse us now you might be wondering what can a person like me do about this global concern well here are some practical advices you stairs instead of lift but definitely not if you live on the 40th floor otherwise we'll have to use a ventilator for you which will cause its own set of environmental effects use your own grocery bags buy bigger packets whenever possible when opening a sachet don't cut the little triangle completely it's very hard to recycle submerge a full water bottle in the flush tank this will save 5 to 15 liters of water a day join the carpool or public transportation to save the fuel and its costs if you found this video interesting and useful please like the video and comment your tips on how to save the world also subscribe to this channel to get more amazing videos like this directly to your inbox we'll meet in an another video with some another interesting information till then bye bye take care